Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the serious strategy gamer and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 in the Man Becomes expansion, trying to see whether our torpedo cruisers will be doing good against the Western Allies. So just last time we did declare war on the Western Allies and conquer uh, most of the Malayan Peninsula. Malaya has, British Malaya has in fact uh, capitulated and in between episodes I did go ahead and set, well edited uh, the area over here, the Singapore province uh, to be under our control instead of uh, the CMEs because I think that just makes much more sense. Uh, I also went ahead and set up a big raid installation to be constructed down there because I do think that will be very good. So for our next plans uh, we also uh, landed in northern Borneo. We will be using quite some of our marines which are suffering tremendous attrition. That's way too much attrition. Okay, that's just not viable. We will not be keeping that up. That is that is that is a no go, I'm afraid. So it's interesting to see, by the way, that they did build up uh, land fortifications down here, uh, which they never used really because we were landing here on a post, pretty much. Okay, but yeah, it's not viable to me to go ahead and and do this. And instead, what we'll be doing then is. You know, you can get over there, uh, but all these other guys should be waiting and you shouldn't be really suffering from any attrition. So yeah, uh, we will be trying to land over in these uh, ports and thereby deny the allies any uh, supplies that they might have and that I think should be fine. Mm, I guess what we could also do is at least grab two of these units and just transfer it via ship to down, down here. Uh, I want you to go via ship. Can you please do that? Coming to the harbor? Yeah, like that. Thank you. Right. And that means we can take one of these gentlemen and try to get to that what's that harbor down here by the coast. And that should completely cut them off once we do these naval invasions. We're also going to land in Sumatra, hopefully this episode, and then uh, go into Java or Java next time around. Uh, so far the naval... Oh, oh, I should also mention that in Burma, up here... We are using quite some of our air forces to cover that and we are trying to push in. We are not doing great but that is somewhat deliberate because I don't want to over exploit uh, the weakness of the AI there. However in between, uh, well down here, uh, we did manage to cop off a couple of UK divisions and they'll be wiped out pretty soon. Uh, we've also established a new army up here, the 4th army, which will be coming in. Uh, towards the border with the Soviets, in particular in the area of Vladivostok, so hopefully that will induce the Soviets to put some more troops on this front, uh, because the Germans are struggling somewhat against the Soviet Union, so uh, we'll have to see how we can support our allies there. Right, that's it for the overview. Uh, we have done some naval battles, but so far they've been a little bit more traditional in nature, and we've primarily uh, started to sink their convoys and I think we should be able to see that over here so if we go over here we should see the lost ships. There are two uh, battles that the game considers noteworthy. These are the Battle of the Straits of... what? Of Malaya I'm guessing. So uh, we did sink quite a couple of destroyers and light ships so these are primarily Dutch or Australian ships, so what's that? Oh, no, that's probably uh, from Malaya itself. Uh, we did ourselves suffer from one loss of a submarine, which is unfortunate, but you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, also, somewhat nicely, I did discover that you can put the submarines into a different fleet over here and give them a different alert priority, so that means that we now do not have uh, and to worry about any every single of these um, ooh, that's unfortunate. Who's that? One of our admirals? No, one of our... Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so we don't have to watch every single submarine battle uh, engaging some convoy, so I think that's going to be alright. Also, our torpedo destroyers, uh, sorry, our torpedo ships should be in this area, and so far they haven't really been engaged, so I'm not too sure why that is, um, but we can, I guess, tell them to be a little bit more aggressive even. You are operating, you are on patrol, you should be trying to find more fleets down there, so... 
Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to see some action there. Some more naval results. Ooh, we've been engaged, so some of our destroyers have suffered some damage from some New Zealand to, uh, aircraft. So what we can in fact do is use our fighters. I did set them up to pilot exercises, I thought at least. Uh, let's use them for air superiority and I think that's going to be alright. And you know what, our naval bombers, we are going to train them up because I think they do deserve a little bit more training than they currently have. Not entirely sure why the a, uh, game decided to drop our pilot exercises there. Uh, noteworthily, I have also set up, uh, we are not yet in war against the US, but I did set up our submarines to conduct some mine laying over here. And they should hopefully mine the Hawaii Ridge and thereby uh, provide some attrition against the enemy forces. We are also providing some mines in this area, so we should be able to operate a little bit better over here. And we hope that that's gonna be the case. Right, we're also trying to land down here on the island of Sumatra. We are, we're still needing a couple of days to prepare for that, but I think that's gonna be alright as we go into 1942. We are seeing quite a lot of losses on the Dutch side in particular, and even South Africans. It's interesting. This area is very important industrial-wise uh, for ourselves due to the oil, uh, but also due to for other nations due to the immense resources of rubber uh, that were very significant in a time when the chemistry departments didn't really have the capabilities of doing this. Where are you going and why are you going over here? Oh, I see, because you were <laughs> still assigned to that front, that's alright. Yeah, so we did capture this harbour here, that's good to see, because now these guys really should be suffering from extremely low support. Are you conducting these naval invasions? And do we want to? Yes, that's fine. Support equipment. Oh, that's very nice because actually one of uh, our losses or our shortcomings is that we're not producing enough support equipment. So it's nice that our allies are thinking of us. Right. One unread naval results. I'm thinking these are mostly just convoys. Which is nice to see, but it's not that dramatical that I would think that's super relevant. Right, over here we are apparently walking into Ragoon. That's very lovely to see, and I think you should actually wait over there for a second. Uh, because again, that harbour will mean that the enemy will suffer from some more problems uh, with their supplies, so I think it's very nice uh, if we can prevent that. And we, let's try to capture Malai, Malay, uh, Mandalay sorry, over here and uh, get on the road to Mandalay quickly. Some of these probing attacks are really not going anywhere, I think, but it's still good to see that we are making some progress over here. You know what, in fact, let's take our cavalry and come up over here. And you can get there, and one of you gentlemen will stay in Ragoon to defend it. Yeah, but that should um, allow ourselves to position ourselves a little bit better against the Rosh. We are losing quite some naval bombers in our attacks against convoys, and that I find a little bit discerning. We also have unassigned divisions, apparently. So, yeah... We can assign you to the fast army. I don't think that's critical, but let's do so anyway. Uh, the third army could really train up a little bit, but again, we are losing. Uh, we do have way too little. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, we do have way too little support equipment, and that would potentially increase the attrition significantly there, so I don't really want to do that. And you could actually come up back over there. Good. Things are going well down here, and you want, you can push up the front line a little bit. Improved artillery upgrade, that is also a good um, improvement for our normal ground forces. We should try to do something for our industry, something for our naval abilities. 
We don't really have the naval expertise to, to do too much over there, so I don't think that's something that we should do. We are researching ground attacks, that's alright then. But, mm, again, I do not think that's the best we can do. Potentially what we should do then is try to get to the next level of radar. I think that would be excellent. So that would give us heavy, heavy attack plus 10%, surface detection 18 Where's this one? 12? It's a decent, it's a decent improvement, so... Yeah. On the other hand, we are falling behind our research so quickly, so let's go for the advanced computing machine, and I think that's gonna be excellent. More battles where we are trying to sink submarines. Damaging some convoys. Yeah, it's good. We are gaining some experience here, and it's would be excellent if our battle fleet, sorry, if our submarine fleet commanders would get to the Sea Wolf ability. I don't think they'll be quite able to get there, but still it would be excellent. Uh, also, I'm trying to find out why you guys are reinforcing over your max capacity. That really shouldn't be the case. You should only get to six. Why are you not bringing forces back to the pool then, I wonder? Potentially you did send some to be repaired and then they came back and yet now you're not sending guys back to the reinforcement pool. Also, why are you not getting reinforcements? You should be getting six. I thought our standard submarine fleet would be six. Weird. Nope, we will keep our attaches at the... in the German army because that is... You know what? Let's just ignore all of these convoy results. And... Just clearing them away. Right, so... The war down here in... Burma... It's going fairly well, I would say. Interesting enough, we do have nationalist Spain divisions fighting... Uh, for CM, apparently, so... <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny, actually. Right, we can envelop them somewhat over here, so that I would like to see. Yeah, these attacks down here, down here don't seem to be going anywhere useful. Yeah, these ter the terrain, the supply situation, all of that is pretty difficult for us, so... Uh, we'll probably not be able to get very far doing this. But still, I think it's, it's a decent approach to at least push them back a little bit. Away from our you know, important harbors down up there. So, ah! We did manage to get a foothold over here, so that's nice to see. Let's try to get our um, army to capture most of the island of Sumatra. And come down here towards the... There should be an airfield somewhere over here. Right. How else are your invasion preparations going? The Java Sea and the Celeb Sea are somewhat behind, but we are now going to Palembang. Which was an important city, not Batavia, which would be... Ooh! A proclamation. The United States has proclaimed that they consider the Dutch West Indies to be an integral part of their sphere of interest. They have vowed to protect the territory. So yeah, we are getting closer to an American entry into the war, and that is certainly something that we are quite worried about. Mm, on the other hand, this area up here I think we will be doing fine if we capture all of these places so hopefully that's gonna be all right I also do want to push into Burma more aggressively and then trying to cut off their forces over there I mean that would be nice wouldn't it also landing craft are very very helpful for us uh, although I don't think we ever got the promised discount for that, so that's a little bit unfortunate. We should also try to keep researching our uh, our naval build-up, but eh. I'm worried about the army as well. On the other hand, I'm also worried about the air situation. Ground support. If we had 100 air experience, we could research this a lot quicker, and that wouldn't be too bad, would it? No, I do think that we probably want to go for the heavy shell caps. 
Yeah. Let, let's do this. Let's... On the other hand, I'm also somewhat eyeing with the advanced torpedo launchers. Fire control methods would give us plus 5% attack. Plus 5% attack. Oh yeah, but look at that. All of these effects would be a lot better. Plus 10. Yeah, so let's go for fire control bracket shooting. It will take quite a while and I would prefer to do it by having more air experience, but as long as that's not possible, let's do what we can. Uh, we should also ask our fast army here to actually formulate an attack plan for an offensive so that they can prepare to do that and hopefully gain some experience along the way. Over here we seem to be doing reasonably fine. I'm going to assign that division to this attack plan. Oh no, 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 no. Actually, let's assign it towards this invasion plan. Which hopefully we are able to conduct at some point. Oh, we are landing at Palembang. That's lovely to see. And our forces do land unopposed. And that's brilliant because we will now have this naval base. And that should give us quite some benefit over here. There we go. Lovely. Very, very lovely indeed. So what we are going to do is we are going to bring in our ground forces like that and we are gonna ask these gentlemen who have just gained some experience in naval inv invasions to land in Batavia next that's fine good go ahead do that do do attack whenever ready uh, it is a different naval zone so we might not be able to do that because we don't have enough coverage of the Java Sea so we will need to expand down there uh, at some point that's all right Right, these divisions uh, should be assigned to this front as well, and then we are going to ask them to simply spread out the love of the Japanese Empire. Good. Up over here? Didn't I just see the airfield? Yeah, I did. So that would be nice. Good, we apparently haven't seen a lot of forces down here, but you can see uh, some of the naval mines that our destroyers have laid up there so that is good for us obviously mm, but we sorry about the lip sync but we will need to bring in more naval forces towards down here so who have we got who could be going into this terrain I'm thinking our submarine fleet should add this region to its area of operations. The Strait of Malacca itself hasn't isn't the only worthwhile area. So yeah we are already seeing a lot of forces down here and immediately sinking quite a lot of enemy forces so that is very good to see. We also consider now to have enough coverage over there and that does lead me to believe that if we take the second submarine fleet which currently is operating over here. Let's remove the Bismarck Sea and add, add the Celeb Sea towards its area of, of operations. And that as well immediately uncovers some fleets that are operating in this area. Maybe even transport fleets. That would be nice to see. Right, I think there was a naval battle that we had fought already. Yeah, and you can see... We are starting to sink quite a lot of submarines in this area. Uh, sorry, quite a lot of convoys in this area as well. As well, and that's lovely to see. You'll need one more day to prepare, and that's okay. Meanwhile, in Malaysia, I think we can ask our fast attack group to start their attacks a little bit more aggressively. The second army is doing fine, I would say, but it could be as well pushing a little bit more aggressively. It's primarily asked to advance into the south, which apparently for now doesn't quite seem to be able to do. But if we were to get that airfield, say, wouldn't that be lovely? We're also starting to see for some resistance to occupation, so ultimately we'll actually need a group to 
watch over that area. And what I'm going to do is take some of our forces from 3rd Army, formulate a new area, which we are going to put into the Pacific group, and we are going to task it with garrisoning this area down here. I don't think we necessarily need to guard the forts, the air bases, well not the entire coastline. Yeah, that should be fine now. Good. And they'll be making their way down here independently, so that's good. Right. Lots of convoys being sunk. So far, no major fleet action, which I consider a little bit unfortunate. But we'll have to see, really. Uh, I think what we could do is actually take out a torpedo task force and ask it to cover the Javas here as well. The Brits must have some forces that ultimately will come down here, so we'll have to see. We are making a naval landing. I think this is one of our first opposed naval landings, actually, on this harbor up here. And down here there seem to be there seems to be another battle. As we land into Palik Papan. Okay, that's uh well I, I I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce that correctly. We also landing in Batavia, somewhat unopposed, which is very, very lovely. Yamashita is wounded, so he'll not be available for a couple of days. And we have spotted an enemy navy apparently down here. Okay, well that's okay. So what's this? Two capital ships. So the Netherlands do have some capital ships up here and that might be our first major engagement. So let's see about that. Is there any way we can find about more about that? The enemy is located by torpedo boats. Dutch East Indies Reserve Fleet. Hmm, I see, I see. Okay, we have landed into Batavia, so that's lovely to see. And uh, let's make sure we are expanding our hold of the island. What's this? Is this an oil field? Oh, that'd be lovely to capture. We do, of course, need the oil pretty strongly. I'm going to keep one marine over here. You are expanding your hold of that region. You have, in fact, captured most of that region. Mm, let's try to capture these lowlands though in the hope of uh, getting the Dutch East Indies to surrender. I think they should be surrendering pretty quickly. All of these divisions here should be suffering from attrition uh, because there's no way they can bring in supplies. So yeah, that would be lovely. How do the Dutch East Indies look like? They're not really far on, on their path to surrendering, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll have to do with that. More free military effect? Ooh, a lot of them. Where do we all get all of these military factories from? This region, really? No, that's just one. There are a lot of military factories in Java. Oh my, I didn't know. Well, that's good because, again, we do need quite a bit of support equipment. And apparently even... No, I don't believe that. No, we do have a lot of infantry equipment over. Um, it's just of various types and we're not exactly on the most modern track there. So yeah, but support equipment, let's increase the production of that a little. And I think guns will be doing fine. We are also upgrading some of our air fleet, so maybe we should invest a little bit more into that. At any rate, it's good to see that we are making some progress down here on the island of... Uh, you'll probably not capture that, so... Uh, on the island of Java and on the islands of Sumatra. So, yeah, that is very nice. You know what? Just try to capture all of that sort of as an area. And I think we'll be doing fine. It's a little bit unfortunate that these things are mixing up all this. So, still. More of our generals wounded. Again, never a good thing. And free dockyards. That is an excellent thing. So, ooh. Actually, we did apparently build three more light cruisers. Yeah, the Akazi, the Har Harukazi, and the Matsukazi. Uh, all of these should be named for weather events, although I don't know what these weather events mean. There's no point in upgrading our design, so you know what? Let's uh, simply go ahead and build more of these. I think that's still a very fine idea for us to do. In fact, we might be building up 
four of them. Get the convoy to go all the way down here. Oh, we just can't can't get to construct four at the same time. In fact, we can, and I would like them to come in at the same time. So we are going to do it like this. Just build this one here, this one line down here, and then have four being constructed at the same time at the highest priority so that they all come online at the same time. It means delaying the entry to the war of the next one of this building line, but I think that's all right. We don't really need that at this very second, and we can in fact drop this convoy entirely. It does mean we need a little bit more steel, but we should be able to get some from Manchukau. That means we are just one shy of more stuff, but you know what? I think that's all right. Uh, you can in fact go to defending us over there down down in Singapore right so more convoys being sunk that's all right again our the big battle over here doesn't seem to be occurring unfortunately I think they they withdrew we can certainly have a look at the naval situation in its entirety and, and have a look at the lost ships so just Battles over time. Just last month the enemy lost quite a bit and mostly convoys though. So yeah, we'll have to see. Let's have a look at their important victory points so that we can attack them and hopefully get the Dutch East Indies uh, to, sur to surrender a little bit more quickly. I don't really see where they should have too many victory points. So it's about three down here. Okay, we are advancing to this area. It's another three victory points, so that's good to see. Mm, again, nothing really up there. And we are making some progress down here, so... That's alright, I think. Let's make sure we are pushing up aggressively. I don't I don't know why the game always is a little bit conservative in doing this. But all in all that should collapse pretty quickly. Oh, uh, we should assign the research slot because we just developed a better piercing shell. So that is nice. Again, we should... Well, let's go for a little bit of infantry research. I think that is important. Singapore is suffering from high levels of resistance. But we are bringing in more troops. I also thought we should be getting an event for the signing up of Indian volunteers. But apparently we are not. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. Let's try to capture all of these smaller islands. That's alright. Uh, you are going all the way over here. That's okay too. And then you can pop that province. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's good and and lovely. All of our marines on this island should be doing fine. That is an area that we probably do want to take at some point. The Dutch East Indies are somewhat closer to capitulating, so that is good to see. Why are you going there? I thought I ordered you over here. All right, good. All of these divisions down here have seemed to pop all of the areas that do were under the control of the Dutch East Indies. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, can you in fact go over here? Okay, you can. So you know what? Do go over there. And you can sort of bob these guys. There, that, and you go there. Fine. Good. I like it. We should be seeing that we are earning a lot more fuel. Yeah, so we are getting 4,000 fuel. So we are using more fuel than that. So uh, on a net basis, we are still losing out. But yeah, we'll have to see about what we can do in the midterm over there. Still, it is February. The Americans have not declared war yet. We haven't really seen that many capital ships. Uh, although we've certainly done an enormous amount of damage towards the Dutch East Indies and even British ability to reinforce itself. We've also 
just finished up our next level of... You can go all the way, that's lovely. Okay, we've just also finished up our new national focus, and that means we should be getting much more manpower as we go ahead. We could go for Warrior Spirit, which would give us Kamikaze missions, and I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, on the other hand, it would also be nice to um, support Manchuria a little bit better, and again, get to modern escorts, because we are lacking in that department somewhat. But for now, I actually think we are going to try to uh, support our puppets a little bit and see what we can do about that. We don't really have to deal with any of these insufficient resources. Again, that's just only one point of steel, and I don't think that's worthwhile. We are losing out on the torpedo cruisers. You know what? We can actually bring down our artillery because we don't really need that many artillery guns at this second. So I think we're going to be fine over there. I could actually convert some of our naval bombers, give them a little bit better range. But it doesn't seem seem necessary. Yeah, and we are churning out these torpedo cruisers, which is very lovely. But again, we are not seeing any capital ships, so we'll have to seek them out a little bit more aggressively. But that's going to have to wait until next time. However, do let me know how you want the game to be played going forward. Uh, do you do we want to see uh, the day by day account of what's happening, or do we do you want me to just jump in and see when we do get? to a capital ship engagement or you know when there's a big development. I think I'll certainly be uh, talking about the uh, events when the Americans join the war but we'll have to see about that. Overall the strategy will be to wrap up the Dutch East Indies, potentially attack Australia New Zealand and do that otherwise prepare for an invasion of the Philippines and an aggressive stance against the Americans. If the British rush forwards with the two armies we assign to it I'll be very happy, but that's not a prerequisite. I'm not going to put in any more armies over here because I want to simulate the difficulties that uh, the Japanese actually had in the Burmese region a little bit more closely. So, yeah, other than that, very much looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.